It is Wednesday, the 18th of November. The year is 1421. Houses and farmsteads in the prosperous Dutch polder, the Grote Vaard, are punished by a severe storm and torrential rain. Behind the dikes, people live in fear. When night falls, disaster strikes with full force. The first dike that breaks gives way to a killer flood that inundates nearly 200 square miles of land. And while everybody frantically tries to close a gap through which the raging sea forces itself upon Holland's farmlands and villages, a second dike collapses. Now the whole polder turns into a churning mass of water that drowns 64 villages and 10,000 people. An unprecedented disaster. that enters the history books as St. Elizabeth's Flood. Tall tales about the Elizabeth Flood have gone around this area ever since. One of them tells the story of a single bright spot in the pitch dark gloom of that fateful night. From one of the few dikes that have withstood the force of the water, people are witnessing an unlikely scene. On the waves of the flood, a cradle is bobbing up and down. A cat jumps from one side to the other to prevent it from tipping over. When the cradle is washed ashore, baffled spectators find a healthy baby girl in it. The spot where this happened will from that day forward be known as Children's Dyke, or Kinder Dyke as the Dutch say. It is the very spot where you're standing right now. Kinderdijk, with its historic windmills, has always been an icon of the everlasting Dutch struggle against the sea. What used to be water is once again bustling village and fertile farmland. Since the 18th century, the 19 windmills of the upper and lower bosom of the Kinderdijk area have played their vital part in keeping people's feet dry.